Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Today I'm going to get on assembling the frame for my Annex K3. Um, this is a kit that I ordered from uh, Fabrico. It's a honey badger kit and comes with all the required hardware. Uh, there's a few extra parts that are not in the kit that you have to self-source, but I already had most of those already, so the kit really has pretty much everything I need. Um, and I've got everything set up, but today I'm just going to look at the frame assembly and so uh, we'll be using some of the hardware inside here. Um, in addition to the uh, hardware kit, I also have some uh, Vibratite 125, which is a thread locker that they recommend using uh, on the bolts that you use to assemble the frame specifically uh, and possibly other parts, but I'll be using it today. Um, I have a uh, Weira uh, M5 um, hex, uh, hex uh, key, I guess, would be the right word. Um, and I'm going to be using the straight edge of the key instead of the ball end, as per the Annex documentation recommendations. Um, I also have this Chaotic Labs um, angle um, iron, so thanks to Chaotic Labs for that. Um, and this will help me hopefully get a uh, you know, straighter 90 degree corners uh, in my assembly. So I've not used this before for any of my other frames. I'll see how it goes. Uh, I've assembled a few printers without needing one of these uh, and they're all, you know, functional, but I'm trying to, you know, get this one uh, as close to square as possible um, to minimize any kind of resonances as the printer is printing. So I'll be using this as well over the course of the print uh, or the assembly. Uh, for the start of the frame, we need the four long uprights and eight of these um, uh, 2020 extrusions. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is record the whole build, but I'll fast forward through some of the assembly bits uh, in post-processing, so when I edit the video. Um, so you'll see the entire frame build, but condensed into a smaller time frame. So without any uh, further ado, I'm going to get started on doing this. And the first step is to apply some of this thread locker to some of the M5 by 16. I just got to locate where they are. There's a nice little uh, board here to tell you where they're found. I just need to find them. M5 by 13 button heads. Someone's going to point them out to me in just a second. So they're in here, third one down. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull a bunch out. Um, not sure exactly how many I'll need for this assembly, but they do include 10 pieces. Seems like that might not be enough. Maybe some will be using other lengths of threads, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, you might hear me uh, talk throughout this, but I'm mostly going to fast forward through some of the boring long bits. Uh, I'm just going to let it record for now and then we'll see how this goes. This is the first time, my first time recording this type of video, so um, I'm curious to see uh, your comments below um, how it turns out.
All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna try and keep it short, but I'll come back with more assembly videos of this Annex K3 as uh, I proceed through the build. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Bye for now.